All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who will well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elects that scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War. Back at you again with another lesson. And this one here is going to be a very quick lesson. Call it a quick hit. I'm in the book of 1 Samuel 15 and 23. It says, For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. Because thou hast rejected the word of Yahweh, he have also rejected thee from being king. All right, in the backdrop, is uh, this is about Saul, all right, speaking to Samuel, and Saul was being rebellious, okay? But uh, these scriptures are written for our learning, and this even applies to us today. If we be rebellion to the Lord's ordinance, all right, and to the Lord's ways. So it says, for rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. So the Lord sees rebellion as the sin of witchcraft, which performing witchcraft leads to what? Death, all right? You know, you're uh, dealing with familiar spirits, unclean spirits. Now, let's just see what this word rebellion says. It says rebellion, rebellion, rebellious, and construct, rebellious, okay, bitterness. Let's see. Uh, uh, and pause. Okay, let's look this up. Contumacy. Contumacy. It says stubborn, refusal to obey or comply with authority, especially a court order or summons. Contumacy, all right, which means stubborn, refusal to obey. It says, or comply with authority. Now, who has the authority? Those who have the rule over you, all right, in this ministry of ours, all right? We have, all right, we have apostles and elders, you know, men on down who watch over your soul. Through the spirit and power of your by Shem Al Shai. You know, and if you're rebellious to the order, then you get put out. So how much more being rebellious, you know, to the Lord's order, which is the ways in which he taught us to serve him, okay? And doing what he delight in. So it says stubborn, refusal to obey or comply with authority, especially a court order or summons. Alright? Contumacy. So let's go back. Read the scripture again. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. And stubbornness is uh, plain, you know, somebody stubborn, a hard head. And that hard head leads to a soft ass, as the, um, the saying goes. All right. In this case, stubbornness is going to lead to death. You know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, the scriptures say he must know it after death by pain. So the word stubborn means to put, to press, push, be insolent, display, pushing, arrogance, presumption, uh, urge, press, stubbornness. Okay. To beat, to make blunt. All right. So that's the point. It says, for rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. So the Lord sees rebellion as the sin of witchcraft, and that stubbornness of rebellion as the iniquity and idolatry. You know, because you don't go in the way in which you are told. It says, because thou hast rejected the word of Yahweh. See, the word of Yahweh. He hath also rejected thee from being king. You know, which goes into Saul, but, you know, we're using this scripture here to relate, you know, unto these times, dealing with us brothers in this truth. You don't want to be rebellion, you know. Rebellion leads to offending the Lord little ones. So, let me grab that and I'll close, close, close it out. That's uh, Matthew 18 and 6. It says, uh, but whoso shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me, it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and that he were drowned in the depth of the sea. So you see, offending the Lord, Lord little ones, you know, which is to turn them from the gospel, 
you know, to pervert the gospel and make them believe in a lie. Okay, the Lord said, if you offend one of these little ones which believe in me, it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and that he were drowned in the depth of the sea. So in plain words, you know, it would be better if you go ahead and kill yourself before the Lord get to you. All right, it says, uh, verse 7, Woe unto the world because of offenses, for it must needs be that offenses come. But woe to that man by whom the offense cometh. All right, and uh, real quick, just want to check something out. Check something out. Let's look up that word. Uh, let's look up that word offend. <laughs> It says to put a stumbling block or impediment in the way upon which another may trip and fall. Metaphor to offend. Yeah. So, you know, tr you know, here you got men out here who pervert the gospel, who climb up some other way, you know, who are self-made niggas and they read the scriptures and they believe in the scriptures their own way instead of being taught the right way. And they believe in a the lie. They trip. The Lord little ones up who believe in him. You know, if you very young in this truth, you know, newly fruit coming in, you got to be careful. This is why we must pray. It says to entice to sin. See, someone that gets you to go off. You know, it says to cause a person to begin to distrust and desert one whom he ought to trust and obey. All right. Because you got a lot of. You know, guys who backbite and you have, you know, our apostles and elders, men of the Lord, you know, who work speaks for itself. All right. That they're they are the ones to 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 trust and obey. OK, because they work speaks for itself and the wisdom behind the teachings through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is evident. And you got those who who cause a person to begin to distrust and desert one whom he ought to trust and obey. You know, they called us what man pleases. Are you, know, you just pleasing the apostles? You're a man pleaser. You're a man pleaser. You know, well, you're going to be dumb for that. All right. Trying to, you know, uh, plant a seed in the brother's uh, mind. It says to cause to fall away. See, someone fall away. You know, it says to be offended in one, to see in another what I dis disapprove of and what hinders me from acknowledging his authority see since when the elders and the apostles do their lessons they have the authority and the rule over you you know so it's best to take heed all right so let me read that again to be offended in one to see in another what i disapprove of and what hinders me from acknowledging his authority to cause one to judge unfavorably or unjustly of another, since one who stumbles or whose foot gets entangled feels annoyed. It says to cause one displeasure at a thing, to make indignant, to be displeased indignant. All right, offend. Okay, to entrap, trip up, you know, which is in the doctrine, to trip up in the doctrine, to believe in the lie. You know, so, you know, that's the point, man. This is supposed to be a quick hit. I hope this lesson was edifying, you know, don't offend the Lord little ones and don't be rebellion, uh, rebellious, you know, that all leads to death, you know, and that goes, uh, that goes also, you know, for you women as well, you know, the, your husband have the rule over you, you know, and going in, going up some other way and being rebellious, all right, dishonest. And uh, basically, disrespect is going to lead to your death, man. You know, because the Lord, little ones, is no joke. All right. These are the ones that the Lord love. These are the elect. So you have to be careful who you offend. You know, hey, the story of uh, Moses, when Moses, Miriam, and Aaron, when Moses stepped away, Miriam, Miriam and Aaron, all right, they, uh, you know, spoke uh, against Moses and the, and the Most High heard it. So what the Most High did, what Yahweh did, okay, he plagued Miriam, his sister, and he struck her with leprosy because she was talking shit, you know, and the Heavenly Father didn't like that. So when Moses came back to the camp, you know, he prayed to Yahweh for his sister, 
you know, to get her color back, you know, and to remove the leprosy, you know, but he had to plead with the Lord for his sister. But the, the point is, you know, the Lord did that because why he offended? Well, you know, in a sense, okay, you know, the Lord didn't like the fact of what they were saying against the Lord's uh, chosen. So that's the point. So hopefully this lesson is edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.